The purpose of this video is to show you how to place menus into a stage. So to begin, we need to import what I call the Trinity for menus. And they are three, there are three classes we need to import. Okay, javafx.scene.control.menu and two others, menu item, menu bar. So menu bar is a place where menus live. Menus are sort of the headers, and then the menu items are what appear in the dropdown when you click on a menu. Now, one other thing you're gonna need in JavaFX to run menus is you're gonna need to import JavaFX.scene dot layout dot border layout the border oops pane uh, border layout is the name of the old swing item which I haven't used in four years all right so now we have the imports in place the next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and set up our window Okay, so this thing's going to be called menu demonstration. Okay, that's going to go in the window. Dot set scene, new scene. So we're just going to stick our border pane in a window of some size. You can make it smaller or larger if you'd like. But there we go. We have the basic thing working. Now, what we're going to do here to be... Uh, smart is we are going to create a method a private helper method that's going to build all the menus so we'll come down here and we're going to say we're going to say build menus now what's it going to return well we're going to do this we're going to say BP oops dot set top of build menus so I better stub in this method or I'm not going to compile anymore okay so here's my method but it's not going to be void it's going to return a menu bar so everything's going to be put into the menu bar by this build menus function. And then that menu bar is gonna be stuck into the top of the border pane. And so everything will become visible. So, so far we are pretty well set up. Let's go ahead and compile right now. It makes me nervous. You have to palliate my phobias. And one of them is, uh-oh. Did I not make my border pane? Oh, let's see. Oh, yes, I forgot to make the border pane. So let's come up here before. There's a lot of details, and it's easy to omit things. Okay, so we have our border pane. We put it in the scene. We're going to call the build menus function. Okay, so you can see my phobias are justified. Oh, and I need to do this. I haven't done anything down here. So to make a new menu bar, we're just going to use the default constructor. Okay, a menu bar is just a place where you put menus. It's a, a space for menus. And let's return menu bar. And that way everything hopefully will compile. Okay. And as of now, you don't see a heck of a lot. In fact, there is a menu bar in here, but it's like one pixel high because it will expand when it has something to hold. Right now, there's nothing to hold, so it's more or less invisible. 
So maybe it's time to go ahead and start getting the menu bar populated. Okay, so the next thing we do, we need to know how to make a menu. So we open up our browser here and we type the word menu in. All right. And it says, okay, so he, we can see here, this is the import that we did. It's part of the Trinity. All right. And it even tells us how to make a menu here. We just say new menu and whatever we want the menu to say. All right. Whatever we want the menu to say. And this is even telling us how to add an item to the menu bar, which that's sort of the next step. Okay, and you can see the constructor constructs a menu and sets the display text with the specified text. You can also put a graphic in the menu if you want. You can even simultaneously construct the menu and all the items if you wish. But we'll do this a step at a time. So, menu. Uh, let's say new menu. Well, or no, let's say... Um, File menu is new menu of file. Yeah, because that's typically what you see in applications. Okay. Now, we have a file menu, but it has nothing whatsoever to do with the menu bar. So we better take a look in menu bar and see what we need to do to get things working. So I'm going to type menu bar. In here and I'm going to see scene.control.menubar. Okay, what have we got here? It says here's our menus to create and popular. You do what's shown below. All right, so I made new menus. Oh, we can do this, that's correct, but we can also do this. There is a get menus feature in here somewhere. There it is. And you'll see that it returns an observable list. An observable list is a list. Observable list is an interface that extends list. List has an add method and an add all method. So we're going to take advantage of that fact. And you're going to see a construct that looks a little funny, but you'll get used to seeing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say mbar.getMenus. That's a list. So I can add all. And I'm going to add several menus here. So I'm going to use add all. But let's make sure we're happy with our file menu. And then we'll add more menus. All right. So I, add, so I add the file menu to the menu bar. Uh, let's take this for a ride, see what happens. Heaven help us. Hopefully we haven't beaten this out of comp compile condition yet. We didn't type much code. So let's see what it looks like. Oh boy, we have a file menu. Here, let's put an edit menu in too while we're at it. So I'm going to click the go away button here. Okay, and I'm going to reopen my application. I'm going to go down to build menus. There it is. Here, let's put an edit menu in. All right. And so we can just go file menu, edit menu, and it'll add the menus to the menu bar from left to right in a manner you find utterly unsurprising. Okay, so here we have gone ahead, created our file menu and our edit menu, and both of those menus will be displayed. So we have our menu bar, we have our menus inside of it. Now menus need menu items. That's the next step. So I'm going to say menu item, new item, equals new menu item, new. All right. 
Let's make a few more. You ever notice that they come in a certain position? Now you're gonna see me do something interesting here. I put three dots after the open. And you'll see that in a lot of applications. If you see those three dots, it's telling the user that further action will be required. In the case of a, an open menu, often what happens is when you select the open menu, a file choose or die block box comes up and you choose a file to open. Okay, that's why the three dots. All right, so here's open. Let's make save. Oh. And I'm gonna come over here. And generally they're capitalized. And then let's make save as. And then in here, we're going to type save as. And we will do the time honored quit item. In fact, while we're in here, we'll even make that item live so you can learn how to make a menu item live. And there's no surprise here. A menu item is really nothing more than a button. Okay, so to make one live, all you have to do is quit item dot set on action. Isn't that pleasingly familiar? And then I put my little lambda inside of here. Okay, I say, okay. So now I have my menu items and I've even equipped one with event handling code. But there's one last thing we need to do. We need to get the menu items into the menu. So let's go file menu dot. And now I'm going to go to my handy dandy API guide and I'm going to type in menu. I go back to menu and I'm going to scroll down and look get items, okay? So it's get items that gets the items that are in the menu. And it returns again an observable list, okay? So that since it returns a list, it's got an add all method because list interface has an add all method and we just put them in in the order in which we want to see them. And they always go new item, open item you'll see that on almost all your apps save item it's part of a human interface standard save as item there are whole books written on this uh save item save as item quit item okay so now i've added all the menu items to the file menu and here we are Okay, this is our, let's see how well our application works. We wrote a lot of code. We could write a lot of rubbish. We could have problem, oh, edit menu. Cannot find symbol edit menu. Oh, I need to call this edit menu. That's the problem. Oh my bad. Dangers of copy paste. Okay, let's run it. Look, here's your menus. Here's your quit item. Bingo. Now, one thing you'll notice on a Mac, and this is a long standing and very irritating bug, and I've written a friend of mine at Apple about it. Uh, when Platform.exit is called. Mac OS X does something stupid, but don't let that bother you because everything works. You just get this inglorious rubbish that gets put to standard error. So to summarize very quickly, if you want to do menus, you must insert a border pane and you need to 
import the, tri the, the trinity. Okay, there's the trinity. Menu, menu item, menu bar. The second thing I did here is I took my border pane and put the menu bar in the top. Now I could have put all of this code into start, but start should play the role of a pit conductor. You don't want start to get too big. You when you when you when you're doing some kind of major function like this, you need to farm it out to some other method. And you can make these private helper methods. Uh, let them do the work behind the scenes and let start orchestrate their action. So there you have it. How to put menus into a Java FX stage. Later, we'll show you how to create a file chooser and choose a file. That's an upcoming uh, item that you'll see. And uh, next time, I think what we're going to do, the plan is to do this, is to create an application that opens a file and displays it in the text area. And in the beginning, we're going to do it with a button in a text field. Then we will modify this to become a very simple text editor. So I will see you next time. And I hope you're enjoying this little adventure in JavaFX programming.